On this Christmas Day, a historic moment in the district, Archbishop Wilton Gregory, the first African-American leader of the Archdiocese of Washington, celebrating his first Christmas mass in D.C., and he had quite the audience. ABC 7's Tom Rousey shows us it was standing room only today, and some people came just to hear the Archbishop's message. Much at the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception was familiar. One God forever and ever. But history was also made. This was Archbishop Wilton Gregory's first Christmas Mass here. He's the first African American ever to head the Washington Archdiocese. It made it more special coming to church today. Anita Yukwando says she grew emotional watching Gregory. We belong too. That was the feeling I had. When I saw him up there. For his first Christmas homily here, Gregory chose to focus his message on fear and how he says it's so often unnecessary. Those fears are nonsensical. He referenced the shepherds in the Christmas story. They needed to be told that you have nothing to fear. However, we all need to be told that very same message. Gregory was installed in May during a difficult time. Previous Archbishop Donald Worrell resigned last year amid concerns about the way he'd handled some abuse cases while bishop in Pittsburgh. The man before him, Theodore McCarrick, is the first cardinal ever removed from being a priest because of alleged sexual abuse. I'm going to be in the midst of our people, like today. Gregory says he's already visited 65 parishes and schools to try to lead the church forward. The people have also been extraordinarily welcoming and encouraging and prayerful. Do you think he's the right man to lead it forward? Hello? Time will tell. Time will tell. I hope so. I really, really hope so because we need some help. Gregory's first message for the holiday that draws more people to church than any other seemed to go over well. I was really surprised to see it was standing room only. So that was encouraging to see all these people. In Northeast D.C., Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.